Our friend Abby Johnson is here. She's the uh, CEO and founder of Then There Were None and also a former Planned Parenthood director, now pro-life activist, and the, the person who inspired me to uh, be a pro-life activist myself as well. Abby, how are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? Great. I'm grateful you're here. How, two, two part question. How did it become where if you're a woman, you by default must be a feminist? And then if you're a feminist, you must, of course, be pro-abortion. How did those things happen? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so I think it all sort of fits together with the gender ideology agenda, right? So, you know, about, I would say 25 to 30% of the people that I worked with at Planned Parenthood were part of the LGBTQ community, okay? And that makes sense when you think about how really the, the feminist mantra, the secular feminist mantra is to keep women career focused in the workplace and childless, okay? So they are trying to create an androgynous community of people. So where women are like men and where men are like women, right? And so you see this really coming to a head right now in our country where you know you see companies like Amazon, PayPal, all of these other companies that are now willing to pay women to have abortions. They will not pay them to have their children. They will not pay for maternity leave, right? But they will pay for them to have an abortion because it is simply a business decision for them. They want to keep them childless they want to take away the thing that makes women women, and they want to keep them in the workplace. So a really interesting thing that I tell people all the time is in the eight years that I worked at Planned Parenthood, okay, I worked with hundred, I, I worked with over a hundred women, okay? Most of these women were of childbearing age. In the, that eight years that I worked with Planned Parenthood, I was the only woman who had a child. Now, I was not the only woman who got pregnant, but I was the only woman who had a child because every other woman that I worked with had an abortion. Amazing. Why did the initial feminists remove motherhood from the, the life of a woman. And how were they able to get that message spread so quickly and so effectively? So the original feminists like Susan B. Anthony and Alice Paul, they were actually pro-life. So they did really cool things actually. When a woman had a baby, they would raise a flag in their front yard. They, they celebrated femininity. They celebrated women having children. It was a really beautiful thing. They celebrated the fact that women were unique human beings that could do this unique biological feminine thing, right? And have babies. So they, the original feminists were pro-life. They were women who loved womanly things, okay? It wasn't until later um, when, you know, this new wave of feminism came in, and that's when we really started seeing the sexual revolution take off. It's when we started seeing birth control come around, and it's when we started seeing um, this push for women to be in the workplace it's when we, and look, I'm, I'm a woman who works, okay? So I'm not saying women shouldn't work. That's not what I'm saying. But it's when we started seeing this push for women to be more career focused, we started to see a push for two parent households uh, in, in the workplace. So, you know, women not staying at home, a parent not staying at home, uh, two parents in the workplace and women on birth control. And that's when we really started to see this push, this more secular feminism, women need to be, need abortion. 
And if you are going to be a woman who is pro-woman, then you must be pro-abortion because you can't be a woman who is for women and you can't say that you're for women's empowerment and then also say that you're for women having babies. Hey, Slater Crusaders. So our latest special is about why feminism is bad. So my mom is a feminist and years ago she asked me why I think feminism is bad and I, I couldn't give her a good, proper, sufficient answer. Uh, now I can, and that's what this special is about. How has feminism been bad, especially for girls, especially for women, but our whole country as well? It's available right now on thefirsttv.com, and you can download the app for free in the App Store as well. Thefirsttv.com.